Hello dear students, welcome to Sunday Ka Fanda. Guys, from last 20 days, it's been absolutely thriller in the North India, especially in Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Delhi, Haryana, because of lot of rainfall and the water that has been discharged out from the dams. Now, particularly right now in Delhi, huge flood level is there, Yamuna is flowing above the danger level and guys as you can see behind a lot of ground area has been covered with water due to this high magnitude of rainfall now flood is there grounds are filled with water but guys in let me in this particular Sunday of Andana, I'm going to the underpass where due to this high flood the water has been locked there and the vehicles cannot move and underpass has been blocked from last three days. Before going to the underpass, let me show you one thing. Guys, have you remembered that girder? That Sunday of under we have already made. Okay, I guess uh, two months before. Now you can see that, that how they are filling up the slab there. Let me just zoom this and then we are going to this topic of today's Sunday of under that is water locked in underpass. So you can see there that how gutter is supporting those concrete blocks okay so all the concrete blocks are right now supported in the gutter and later on they will be fixed in the column and all those concrete blocks will be tied up to make the slab okay so let's go further hello dear students welcome to the another episode of sunday ka fanda guys there are two types of vertical curve in highway engineering. One is summit curve that is flyover and another is valley curve like underpass you can just see behind me. Guys in summit curve that is flyover there is never being a drainage problem because whatever the rain is coming that water will be draining off either of the two sides because the shape is like this. But in valley curve in underpass like this if the drainage is not proper then guys there is a huge accumulation of water and from last 48 hours in a underpass near ITO there is a huge amount of water and that is now being pumped out as you can see near the tractor let us go nearer hello guys you can see the water behind me let me tell you the height of the water is up to 5 feet up to yesterday night Okay, and it is not like that the drainage system has not been provided at sites. Yes, there is drainage system, but since in northern India from last seven days, huge amount of water is coming and flood is coming. So all those openings have been blocked and there is a huge blockage of water. Now how to evacuate this as the drainage have been blocked. So we cannot wait for evaporation now. The evaporation will be happening and then water will be going away or we cannot be like uh, when drainage will be opened okay so as all drainages are blocked and so what is happening you can see that the tractor is here in which a uh, motor is there and from there pumping is done from that water is extracting and you can see there there is the manhole and there the water they are putting up okay so this process is being continued from last 24 hours so that all the waters they are coming from here it can be evacuated there okay you can see the water is going there now let us guys see that what can be the preventive measures for this huge amount of flood in the country what can be the things that can be done because this flood is not only blocking the underpasses but guys the lot of area which has been irrigated or the crop has been there that also has been stuck and that is waterlogged so that is affecting badly the crops as well okay so let us see this let me tell you that around 4% of the agricultural area every year is going badly affected by this flood 4% of total irrigated area now uh, let me tell you some solutions for that control the loss of water guys if a layer uh, suppose a canal is there so we can make it lined canal because what sometimes happens even there is not 
uh, huge rainfall even there is not uh, the water has been discharged out from the dam but the slopes of the unlined canal especially has been broken out wo deh jate hai mitti wale slope okay so sometimes even without the there is not much rain even without there is not uh, what is not discharged discharged from the dam the water has been come to the fields because the slope has been broken because they are not lined so we have to provide the lining and uh, check the levels of the canal and of course we can take a higher factor of safety of uh, especially in the new uh, constructed canals what we are going to construct in the upcoming years disposing of the rain water guys whatever the rain water is coming that can be disposed of to drains one solution is that second one is that that we can make some alternative routes okay suppose some uh, canal is flowing like this okay so we can make a gate here we can make a gate here and that uh, one canal we can make here okay and whenever there is a large amount of flood so some water can be disposed of in this particular direction which subsequently can be used in the irrigation there next point transfers now i am not consider these two points are specially in concerning of crops but right now this is on the underpass that video i just shown guys in underpass the longitudinal slope will not do anything because underpass is like this okay so longitudinal slope is already high there so whatever the water is coming it will be going here and accumulating here okay in flyover it is very good that water whatever is coming will drain off here and there so fly at least flyover will not be having any drainage problem might be the roads there can be having some problem if drainage is not well there but underpass will be having a problem okay so proper uh, transfer slope should be there yes we can provide the drains here we can provide the drains here but at least transfer slope should be there longitudinal slope is there but transfer slope is there so that the water is going to that particular drain <laughs> not using alkaline water what happens that sometimes in irrigation farmer use high alkaline water which affects the soil and it restricts the seepage capacity of soil and water is not going to the water table because of the alkaline water they have used in irrigation alkaline water makes or reduce the suction capacity of soil so infiltration reduces and as infiltration reduces runoff will increase and eventually there will be water logging and second is mulching now what is mulching mulching is using certain organic fertilizers or organic compounds which are such that even if the crop is going to be logged there listen this very carefully even if the crop is going to be logged there the growth of the plant is not affected because you have uh, mulching it means you have added certain organic compounds or fertilizers that helps the plant or that helps the crop to grow even in the water logging condition so that process is called mulching apart from this guys you can tell me some more what are some more preventive measures that can be taken to prevent the water logging in crops or underpasses you can join me in my telegram group civil by abhinav sir i'll be very happy to chat you there and waiting for your comments on the comment section about more preventive measures thank you take care